Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back, checking in on the video. We're going to talk right now about meditation and relaxation. Meditation in particular, is it any good? Is it a load of crap? You know, does it really work? Is it for people who just want to cop out on society and just basically chill out and do nothing? Well, I can tell you now, meditation is really popular today amongst a lot of high-powered people. A lot of Google executives do it. Uh, a lot of very high-powered people do it. People involved in many different types of, of businesses and industries do it. It's not a cop-out at all. And people do meditation for a very specific reason. We're going to go into a lot of these reasons in a minute. Steve Jobs was a big fan of meditation, for example. You know, John Lennon, I mean, Oprah Winfrey, many, many famous people, musicians like Sting, people like that. A lot of people meditate for particular reasons. And those reasons are quite far-reaching. The benefits are quite astounding in meditation. I've been involved in meditation now for over 20 years. I think it's fantastic. I have sessions every afternoon. It really pays off, all right? So I've written down a cheat sheet again, a couple of reasons why I'm going to explain why meditation, particularly mindfulness meditation, is of such an advantage to you if you're watching this video. doesn't matter what you've got, whether you've got a disease or not a disease, whether you've got candida or a digestive problem or you've got high blood pressure or diabetes or cancer. or doesn't matter. doesn't matter whether you've got conditions or not. It's going to benefit you, right? So, point number one, it helps you deal with stress and anxiety. By calming the brain and by inducing alpha wave state, it helps to really create serenity inside the body. So it downplays stress. It pushes down the alarm phase. It helps to balance stress hormones a lot more. This helps to downregulate stress responses in the body. It downregulates the sympathetic or the fight or flight. It helps to upregulate the parasympathetic or the rest and digest. So by relaxing deeply on a daily basis, you're going to really improve your digestion. You're going to improve your circulatory system. You're going to improve your immune system. You're going to improve the balance and utilization of neurotransmitters in the brain. Okay, There are seven key neurotransmitters that benefit seriously from meditation. It's repeatedly shown with a lot of research I've done at Harvard University that people who meditate every day tend to be much calmer, more relaxed, more easygoing, more productive. Sounds good, doesn't it? Number two, you're going to boost skills like short-term memory okay, and awareness. So you're going to remember things a lot more. People who don't meditate and who just keep going from job to job or don't relax enough have got very poor recall short-term, particularly when they get to my age, to their late 50s. Their memory is shot. They can't remember where they put anything anymore, where their keys are or where their handbag is or where they put their shoes or their cell phone or their iPad or whatever, you know? And when it gets really bad, you can't remember where you put your wife, or you put your car, or your house. That's how bad it can get, okay? That's called dementia. When it gets really bad, okay, your brain starts breaking down. So research has also shown that people who meditate very, very regularly, daily, have got a much greater chance of staving off conditions like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia. Right? Makes sense? Makes a lot of sense to me. Number two. After years, you become a pleasant person and learn to get on with others a lot better. If you look at people like Buddhist monks, for example, who meditate all the time, they're very pleasant people. They smile a lot. They're easygoing people. They don't care about things anymore. They're in a higher alpha state. This has a big effect on the amygdala, a part of the brain that controls fear and anxiety. It tends to really shrink the amount of gray matter in the amygdala, increases the white matter. It makes you a far more chilled and easygoing and productive person. It makes you a person that other people want to be around. If you've ever be, been around someone and you think, oh my God, I can't handle that girl or that guy. I've just got to get away from that person. Chances are they probably have never meditated. They think it's a stupid concept. They don't know how to relax and they wind people up. And then you meet other people and you think, wow, that guy's awesome. Oh, I feel so relaxed when I'm around that lady. I don't know what it is, but I just feel chilled when I'm around her. She just makes me feel good. Chances are that that person understands about the power of relaxation. So when you become a very relaxed, calm person, you put others at ease. When you become a really anxious and hyped up person, you piss other people off. It's pretty simple, isn't it? So meditation helps to calm the brain. It allays anxiety. It pushes depression away. It makes you appreciate the things in life that money can't buy. 
and they're the things that bring us the most happiness. All right? Another point, meditation is a big benefit for other body parts apart from consciousness, emotions, cognition. It benefits the heart, it benefits the kidneys, it benefits the organs. How the hell does it do that? Well, it's simple, because I mentioned before, it has an effect on regulating the autonomic nervous system. It downregulates the stress response, it upregulates the relaxation response, it calms the heart, it drops the blood pressure down, it improves the flow of blood through the kidneys and the liver, it helps relax the skeletal muscles, it improves the digestive function, it improves the output of digestive enzymes. It has multiple effects on the body. It even improves your sleep and your libido. I mean, how much better could it get? And the last one, it prevents genetic damage, so it can actually stave off cancer. So you've got these tiny little protein complexes called telomeres, okay? I'm not going to get into this stuff. It's pretty heavy. But telomere length, or the length of these protein complexes in the cell, influences whether the genes get damaged or not. So it's proven that people who meditate a lot tend to have longer telomere protein length and tend to have much less chance of getting cell mutations or cancer. Isn't that amazing stuff? So by meditating every day, you've got a chance of actually staving off cancer in the body. So think of all those benefits. And remember what I said? The best things in life are not affordable because you can't pay them with money. You're not going to pay for meditation. It's something that you've got to do yourself. So by meditating regularly, which costs nothing but time for you, you can have an incredible amount of health benefits. Think about it. It's worth it. Thanks for checking, checking out this video.